Hi folks, Damon here. So today I want to go and show you how to create an EMR studio with IEM authentication mode. Before you get started, there are a few prerequisites. You need to have a service role that's associated with EMR studio and you need to have certain tags on your VPC and subnets. If you like, we do have a CloudFormation template in this EMR Studio Samples GitHub repository. You can see this full Studio Dependencies template right there. I've already gone ahead and created that CloudFormation stack in my account, but that creates a VPC, a few subnets, and the service roles that you need, uh, as well as an S3 bucket to go ahead and get started. So let me go over here and just click Get Started in the EMR console. This brings me over to uh, our EMR Studio Getting Started page, and we'll just go ahead and create a studio here. You can name your studio. Folks typically will create a studio based on different teams. So we'll call this studio data team. You go ahead and select a VPC that you want it to live in. Again, you need to make sure that VPC is tagged with that uh, for use with Amazon EMR managed policies right there and select a couple subnets that you can use. These subnets will be used when you create EMR cl clusters or if you're connecting to existing EMR clusters, they'll need to be in those subnets. You can also select default security groups or custom security groups. Uh, as mentioned, these are created as part of the cloud for template. So if I just select engine security group there and workspace security group there, I'm good to go. Now we're just going to select IAM. If you have a IAM federation, you can fill in this section here, but uh, you can also just use standard IAM authentication. So we're going to do that here and we will use the EMR Studio, EMR Studio service role that was created by the CloudFormation template. And then finally we go down to workspace storage and we select our S3 bucket. There is an S3 bucket that is created by that CloudFormation template, so we're just going to go ahead and use that. And now we can go ahead and hit Create Studio. So this goes ahead, creates our studio for us, and we get a studio access URL here. We're going to go ahead and click this URL, and this authenticates us with the current IEM user that we're signed in as. If you wanted to use SSO or Federation, you could do that as well, and you could sign into this URL from anywhere. Now we are in EMR Studio. And as you browse around, there's a couple things to call out. There, there's a dashboard here. We can create workspaces. And then under clusters, you can also browse uh, and manage your existing clusters as well. So you can see those from here. Back to the dashboard, we're just going to go ahead and click the Create Workspace button. So in here, uh, we'll call this Daemon Dev. So this is my dev workspace. This is the S3 location where your notebooks will be stored. And then if you want, you can also uh, create a cluster directly from this interface or attach to EMR and EKS, or you can also attach to an existing EMR cluster if you have one in those subnets. I've already got one running, so I'm just going to go ahead and connect to my data science workspace while I create this workspace. You can see here the workspace is starting, and if I refresh, we should be ready here in just one second. All right, we're good to go. So now I can just click on the workspace and that'll go ahead and launch my EMR Studio workspace. So what I get with that is a Jupyter Lab environment where I can go and create new notebooks, save notebooks, and share those with other folks if I connect a Git repository to my EMR Studio workspace. There we go. When you first get into the workspace, you've already got a notebook created for you. Uh, but down here, I do want to call out, there's this notebook examples section. And if you click that, we've got a few different examples of different notebooks you can open immediately inside of EMR Studio. Uh, in the file browser, if you have existing notebooks, you can just click this upload button right here and you can go ahead and upload your existing notebooks to EMR Studio. And I can go ahead, open that notebook. This is a notebook that I had in a different Jupyter Lab instance. You can see I'm attached to my cluster already. And since this was a PySpark notebook, I'm already attached to the Spy PySpark kernel as well. So I can just go ahead, hit run and run all the cells in this notebook. And that'll go ahead and start a Spark app on my EMR cluster and spin up uh, my analysis. And in this case, I'm just reading some weather data from the NOAA uh, Global Surface Summary of Day data set. So that'll spin up a Spark application and go ahead and process some data. If you want to see what cluster you're connected to, there's the EMR clusters button over here. You can see I'm connected to my data science cluster. And down here under advanced configuration, if I want, I can also easily connect to or create a new cluster down here just by specifying the EMR release and the number of instances I want. Really easy. You can also use cluster templates. So if you've got um, EMR Studio connected with Service Catalog, you can have cluster templates here and you can have these really simple clusters where you can just spin up uh, those clusters uh, with predefined settings and all that kind of fun stuff. If you want, you can also connect to a Git repository. Just select Add New Git Repository, enter the URL, and you can use a public repository without credentials or create a new secret and use the username and password to connect to GitHub or CodeCommit or other repositories. So that is getting started with the EMR Studio. 
pretty easy. You can see my notebook here is already running. I can browse through and evaluate this data if I want to. Uh, you can see we're going through and pulling out some different um, different weather data and pulling out some feature attributes here from that fog, rain, snow uh, set right there. And so you can see that we're doing some analysis here and it's just going to go through and run that notebook and write it back out to an output bucket. So that is a quick intro to setting up EMR Studio with IEM Authentication Mode. Thanks. Have a good one.